How are you guys doing? Josh here with Ohio Fish Rescue. So this is part two on the thousand gallon resurrection. I am here to show you guys how we're going to prep the air area and prep the tank for one fiberglass and then paint. So for starters, we left off part one with uh, ending with that puck being set in place and now we need to secure that puck and basically fill the gap and then fiberglass over it. Before we can go ahead and start fiberglassing, there is some preparation work that needs to be done. We clean the area with uh, rubbing alcohol. Now we need to go ahead, I've got my orbital sander up here, we're going to go ahead and sand down the area to rough up the edges and make it to where the surface is more grabbable by the fiberglass. And also while I have the sand in there, I'm gonna go ahead and take down these edges right here where the uh, old overflow used to be and I'm gonna go ahead and make that smooth and flat so when we paint over it, it is good to go. <laughs> So we are done sanding now. As you can see, I went ahead and skimmed all the walls where the paint would be adhering to. So it basically just scuffs up the surface so the paint has something to grab to. And here where we ripped out the, uh, the overflow, there was an inside and an outside bead where the fiberglass was stuck to the piece of wood going across here. We ripped that out so we had to take the sander and sand down this ridge and sand down that ridge. So now when you run your hand over it, it's nice and smooth. And then when your coat of paint goes over it, it's going to look like it was never there. Now, one other spot here on the bottom, which I'm going to have to re-sand once we fiberglass this, because you're going to have a little bit sticking up to where I fiberglass in this overflow. And then once that dries, you have to come back in here, smooth out the edges, and then you can go ahead and paint everything, and that'll bring us on to the next step. Alrighty, so it's all wiped out now. And now I just gotta wait for the water to dry, and then we can get on to fiberglassing. So I will show you that once the tank dries, and we will get back to the video, so bear with us. Alrighty, so you guys see, there's still wetness in this corner, but right where it dried, you can see it went back to a hazy white that's everywhere where I sanded. That's how the tank's going to look until we paint it. But for now, we are ready to start fiberglassing it is nice and dry over here, so we're going to go ahead and start cutting the patches to size and we can start mixing our material and getting this spot ready for fiberglass. And then once we're ready for paint, I'll show you the last bit of what we do to prep the rest of this for paint. Alrighty, so while I'm explaining to you the process and what we're planning on doing, my dad's going to go ahead and explain what he did here with the fiberglass uh, cloth and what his thought process is behind it. All right, so what we're going to do is mix up the fiberglass and the, the resin, and we're going to Josh going to dip this in it. This is a real thin piece because there is a little gap all the way around the wood, and we want, we're thinking about filling it in with caulk, but why not use the reinforced fiberglass that we're using to, to seal it anyway? So this will go around the puck, and then he'll tuck that down in, make sure it's nice and level. Then we're going to have this big piece. Oh, I'm sorry, my bad. This little piece is going to go, we'll cover it with resin, we're going to put that right over the puck and, and you know get that down. Then on top of that one, you're going to have this bigger piece, and it's going to go from the corner of the tank out, and then this last big piece, this one's going to go into the corner, but it's going to fold up about an inch on each corner, like so, so it goes up the wall and covers the rest of the patches. And that gives us three layers of fiberglass which we don't need it for structural support to hold the weight of the water. That's what the wood puck is for, to fill up the gap. We're just sealing it to the inside of the tank, and then when we paint over it, we'll be good. It'll be sealed. Okay, here's uh, Josh. He's in there. He's getting ready to mix the uh, resin together with its uh, hardener. He's stirring it up, and he's going to start right away. We've got about eight minutes to use this up. 
before it hardens up. All right, so now he's putting that around the top of the puck, putting the puck down in the hole to seal. How'd that seal in there, Josh? Take a little bit of resin and put around it. Just pour it. Fingers are sticking to everything. His fingers are sticking to everything, he says. Yeah, that resin is no joke. All right, dip the next one in. You ain't got time, buddy. You gotta work fast. You gotta work fast. <laughs> Go. All right, get the next one. All right, so he's got his first layer on. Wish they would have gave me a bigger tub. Bigger tub would have been nice for sure. Unfold it the other way. Yeah. All right. That's why you wear gloves, guys. Oh, yeah, definitely have to wear gloves with this. Look at that, nice and coated. Now get it set in your corner. Smooth out the edges. Use your uh, squeegee. Use your with my hands at this point. All right. You just want to make sure there's no air bubbles. All right, Josh, you want to take and get the wall wet with uh, stuff first, bottom that. inch. When he's working air bubbles out, and I'll give you that. I'll explain why. Okay, we're going to put this big patch on coming up the wall and into the corner on, on the two sides, covering this big patch. Every patch that we put on is thicker than the last one, or uh, larger than the last one. This is going to be the hardest. You're just going to have to unfold it and fold it inside out again. Yeah. All right, go ahead. He's making easy work of it. The thicker the layers, the more strong it is. But if you let it dry in between, now you have to sand before you put the next layer on. So it would adhere to it. This is the hardest part. Yeah, cloth is hard to work with when it's wet. Now you're going to have to fold the corner like a hospital bed sheet. <laughs> He's happy with that. All right. Sorry about the noise in the background, but the only way I can come out here and work is I've got Tracy in here. That's her bed right there. I have to have the TV on so that I can hear noise. I used to have just the camera on her and I would not know when my camera would like drop the, the camera. So I'd be sitting here and Tracy wouldn't be connected. Now with the TV hooked up to where I can hear it in there coming through my phone, as long as I hear that TV, I know I can hear the monitor beeps above it and I can go ahead and just let that TV sound. When that TV goes quiet, I know the camera ain't hooked up to Tracy no more. Just make sure there's no air anywhere. Good job. When you're done, when he's done, you won't even tell there was a hole there. I uh, use the rest on the top. You can actually take the resin on your hand and go down the cracks and fill in any of the spots so you won't see it once it's painted. 
All right. Go ahead and explain what you're doing up there. So up here, there was a little part where the fiberglass glass had de-land from the wood underneath. So I'm basically taking the leftover fiber in here, shoving it up in the hole to where it basically seals itself back to itself. And that don't even have to hold, retain any kind of pressure. That's just about splashing water, not getting to the wood. Exactly. The open wood, if splashing water was getting to it, it would, you know, swell up and turn, you know, just, it would fail. Also have this, and then we have the extra layer of paint to help seal as well. Right. Beautiful. Gotta love all the extra fibers in the resin. It gives you something to work with. All right, now go down that, uh, where the overflow was. That one second, I'm getting this. Almost done. Bam. Now the wood's covered. Paint will get the rest. No drips. We are good. Now what he was saying, right down this. And Josh, he, Josh sanded down the top of it and made it smooth, but there are some like dimples in there um, that he's filling now with resin. So when we paint over it, you won't see the, the holes and the dimples and the divots. Just let it smooth on and fill in the holes. Yeah. Running out of resin here. Go up the wall right there to your right a little bit. There's a whole white crack on your right. There you go. You're good. I think you're good, buddy. Well, I'm going to get this little hole. Alrighty. There we have it, guys. And you don't want to keep playing with it. It gets tacky and you'll pull it up and then you have to restart all over. Alright, this is sticking. You're, you're going to have to set that down and help me get these gloves off. Why? You can't pull your hand out? It's just sticking. It's already starting to dry. Pull your hand. Oh, that oh went it got it. through your glove. This is going to be fun. Never mind. <laughs> over with. <laughs> you want me to get you some toilet paper, buddy? <laughs> would love that. No, it would stick to the resin and yeah, just I know. spread and fall apart. All right, now I'm going to grab that box or something down there. So I set this on. I need to get out and get this off my hands. <sighs> Alright. Hang on, some more resin right here. Alright. No, get out without touching nothing. Yeah, it's just my fingertips. <laughs> so what, it ate the rubber away? Probably. Or doing that cop crack, the sharp pieces of wood, poked rest. holes, yeah. Alright. There you have it, folks. <laughs> Alrighty, so we are back at it later tonight. This has been drying for quite some time. I am not going to get in there and touch it, but I know exactly what's happening. It is hardened on top, but the inside still needs to cure a little bit. You can see it looks like glass, hence the name, you know, fiberglass, but it looks nice and clear where that wood puck is. I'm looking at it and I see everything adhered pretty nicely and I am really really happy if you can see you can see there's not a big lump against that wall or a big lump there I did a nice job on smoothing that bit out and it's gonna basically dry just how I want it to do so by tomorrow I can go ahead and get in there and prep this thing for paint so in part three of this video you guys are going to see me prep this tank completely which i'll show you what you have to do uh, over this fiberglass to be able to prep it for paint so what i showed you guys today with the fiberglass you guys can use on any sort of application so if you're trying to do the seams in, in a tank you can go ahead and use the same concept i usually do do a a small bead and then come back with either two or three strips progressively getting larger as, as it comes out 
but you got to remember the pot life on that resin is not very long so only mix up what you can handle in a five to eight minute period and uh, you should be good to go so when you join us for part three i will show you how we prep this and i'm going to go ahead and get in here and scrape out this tank and prep this for paint and then you will see everything painted and how we do that and the application for it so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video it was an informative one but bear with us as we get these monster tanks up and going. So hope you guys enjoyed. As always, stay fishy, my friend.